Hello and welcome to another FA06 video. Don't you just love your Roland FA06? So we just turn on the FA06 and uh, we want to demonstrate the stereo feature. So make sure you plug in the left and the right output at the back into a stereo amplifier or mixer. And what we are going to do next is we are going to select an PCMS tone, okay? Any PCMS tone will do. And then we are going to initialize the tone. So remember you go tone edit and then tone utility and uh, tone initialize and uh, there you have an initialized tone now it's on the left piano wave and notice it says ST Grand PL the L stands for left. Okay, now what do we want to do? Well, the first thing we want to do is we want to get rid of that chorus and reverb because that's going to spoil the stereo image. We want perfect isolation between left and right for this demonstration. So to get rid of that, we go to the output tab and we turn off the send level on the chorus and reverb and we only need to do it for partial one because that's the only one that's active and uh, next we come back here now and we come to the wave tab and we come down here and we turn on the right wave to 2. Now notice what we have here. We have wave 1 is the SD Grand PA left and uh, wave 2 is the SD Grand PA R. So the L and R at the, at the end of the waveform is the left and the right waveform. So you put the left waveform into wave left, wave number left, and the right one into wave number right, and you get true stereo. So that's simple enough if you have a stereo pair of waves in your wavetable and just want them to play as a stereo pair on one partial. Well, we can go further than that. We can, in fact, have different waves on the left and the right completely. Now, why would we want to do this? Well, if we want to thicker something, we it's just an experiment. We'll put uh, a, a piano or plunky plunky sound on the left and an organ voice on the right, as you can see there. And uh, when we play now, we're getting that. But um, one is coming through one channel and the other is coming through the other channel. So if I pan my external amplifier all the way over to the left, I'm only getting the plunky plunky sound through the left speaker. And if I plan, if I plan, pan, sorry, pan, all the way over to the right, then I'm getting the organ sound only through the right speaker. So I have perfect stereo isolation between the left and the right, and. Uh, different sounds on all two. On one partial I'm 
I'm getting two different sounds. Now, right now the sounds are isolated. One is coming through one channel and one is coming through the other. But if I was to go up here to the wave and I was to come say over here to the uh, TVA, which is the equivalent of our voltage control amplifier, and I was to come down here to the where it says partial pan, that is panning the partials around, if I was to either pan the partial to the left or right of center, let's go to the left there, we've just gone slightly to the left, left 33, Now we notice that when we pan our external amplifier over to the left, we get that, and when we pan our external amplifier over to the right, we get that. So we're getting the organ in the right, and the plunky plunky sound, and the organ in the left. Now if we were to put it over to the right, so we have 40 right there now, we are getting Let's go some more. And that's the right speaker, and then we pan it with the external amplifier over to the left. So we see that the left is still giving us the pure left, whereas with the right now is a mix of the two tones that we've selected, the plunky plunky sound plus the organ. So the only way to have the 100% isolation, as we said, is to have zero on the pan. But that's an effect you can um, play with. Now if we go back up here and we turn on the the chorus and level, just put it back to how it was. We're getting the plunky plunky sound and the organ sound coming through there on the left channel and when I switch to the right channel what we're getting. So guys, the important thing to take away from all of this stuff is that you can create all sorts of customized stuff by putting different waves on any one partial. In a different wave in the left and the right channel of each partial. So we just want you to realize that the partials themselves are capable of stereo operation and um, when you combine that with the fact that you have four partials and we'll give you one other little easter egg if you go up here now to the let's go back to the TVA come down here now random Pan depth. Have you ever wondered what that was all about? Huh? What, what's all that about? If we increase the random pan depth, we're going to get panning effects, random panning effects as we play successive notes.
have some fun with your Roland FA06 today. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.